Hello everybody and welcome back to Inside where we are back in the submarine. We have got rid of the mermaid and I think there's a little way out up here if we just bash upwards. Maybe a couple of times we'll need to do it. There we are. Up we go. Now, where do we go from here? Do we go this way? We've gone a long way. And we haven't found many answers to anything yet. We're just puzzling our way through. I think this beach is probably where we need to go. Yeah, we're just puzzling our way through in the dark most of the time. There was like one scene where there was a bit of daylight coming through. But mostly we're just in the dark. That's probably why no face creeper kid boy is so pale. Now ah, this looks like a door we might be able to, to go through. Oh, it's a push door, is it? Push, push, push. Oh no, we're inside a facility again. If I fell that hard, if I jumped off and it fell that far, I'd be dead. I don't think he can lift that. Well, I think he probably should either. Okay, again, lots of long running sequences. Running for a long time with nothing happening. I think that's a, a like a creep you out mechanic. Okay. This looks interactable. Okay, moving on, because I don't seem to be able to do anything with that. There's like zombies and stuff here. 19. Has that done anything to this? Yes, I thought so. Ah, right, it takes me down levels. Okay. I just had to repower the lift. That's all right. We can do repowering the lift. I wonder what would have happened if I had decided to go up. I'll have to remember that. But up is an option as well. I am kind of glad I'm doing a controller because I'm literally like winding the controller around for all of these windy bits. Um, I'm wondering how that would work with a keyboard. It might be quite difficult. Oh look, there's a ladder there and I can't reach it. Comes back up. Okay. We'll just keep going forward. Right through these zombies and we'll see if they kill us or whether they ignore us. Because again, trial and error is the heart of this game, by the seams of it. Okay, this is a bit deep for not having a sub. I want my submarine back. How would I even get it there, though? I clearly don't need a submarine for this bit. This bit's all right. But it's at, this game is actually getting darker the more I play it. <laughs> oh, we have some light! Yay! Okay, there's a rope there. Rope for me. Oh, swinging puzzle. I like. No! Okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't like quite so much. 
probably have to like climb up the rope a little bit more. I'm definitely gonna have to Tarzan my way across it, I think. Probably a little bit more height on it, it'll give me more swing. Right, get a swing. Gotcha. Yes. Okay, so we're up again now. Oh, good grief. I felt so silly. Like, I really genuinely thought I couldn't do that. So, when you think you can't do something in this game, you sometimes can. And that's how you get up there. Uh. Okay. Apparently I have zombies following me. Zombie followers. Right, uh, what do I do with these guys then? They're gonna help me get up the ladder? Yep, that's exactly what they're gonna do. Thanks dudes! Yeah, and I must remember to cut the five hours that I spent trying to work that bit out. <laughs> you guys don't want to see that. Oh, all that just to get back to the lift and realise... Well, probably having that thing on my head is something worth having. That was probably what I was down there for, so... There'll be something to attach that to at some point that will allow me to get through somewhere. So we're back to the middle floor again. And that allows me to have zombie followers. But I can't get through there anywhere, so we will have to can bring our zombie followers with us though. It might be handy on the upper floor. Games like this always make me feel so dumb. Like, sometimes I feel so smart when I get something really quickly and then I get something that just takes me forever and just like, for some really silly reason. Dude's in a cage. I'll tip him off the edge for no apparent reason. Probably they'll all be able to help me get that guy out. Alright, uh, is there anything over this side? I think I can go there, but I think my zombie followers probably won't follow me. No, that's just a big old fall to the to the ground and to my death. So we won't be trying that again. I probably need the zombies to make me like a rope bridge or something. So let's go down to the, the middle section again. Um, and we'll go backwards and we'll see what a, uh, if we can pick up those zombies that we just released. And we'll see if we can get the zombie out of the cage. So 
play for a little bit longer to make up for the cuts I'm going to need. So there we are. We've got three more zombie followers there. And let's see if I can make them help me lift this up. Aha, so this is like the way. Okay. Definitely needed my zombie hat. Okay, zombies, can you make me a bridge? No. Useless zombies. Can I even make me a bridge? Okay, so I can climb back up and have another go. So the zombies will pick me up. And throw me places. Oh, wow. I love the interactions with these guys. It's so cool. We get some more followers. More zombie followers. No. What if they go off this way? Well, they... No. How am I supposed to make you my followers if you're just, like, going back and forward on that thing? You're kind of giving them a headache, I think. Okay, I'm gonna, like, check out around here. Not a lot I can do around here, though. Um, okay. Definitely need to get them out of there somehow. The only thing I can see is like that lever. So a couple more times just in case repetition helps, but it might not do. Probably won't do. There's probably something I need to do here. Okay. How do I get those guys out then? Um, I'm sure, I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're meant to be our followers. I'm certain of it. I wouldn't just put that there for no reason. They probably would actually. I can't get any further. I can't go to them. I mean, I need to get it out of my head that uh, that this is like a three-dimensional thing. Those guys are only coming towards me. They're not in my plane, so I can't interact with them. And the hat's not attached to anything. Okay, I'm gonna run elsewhere. The one thing I'm thinking is there was something that looked like this hat might have attached to it on the bottom level. But I'm going to go up to the top level and I'm going to get these guys to throw me across now I know that mechanic. I'm going to go back to the lift. Seems to be absolutely miles away. I've got tons of people now. It might have literally, that might have been to show me the throw mechanic. I, I honestly, I'm not sure. But they'll definitely be able to throw me across. 
They might come back and be useful in some other way. Okay, so we need to get up there. Be thrown across by the zombies. And that'll allow me to go through here. Is there anything that I can interact with? There's another zombie follower. Oh, that I can drag. Okay. Okay, I think we need to go get him again. Thanks, guys. We probably need to go down the bottom again and see if he's down there. That would have killed me, but it probably won't kill him. So we'll see if he's down there. Well, it seems an awful long elevator ride. Awful long. So long. So this is the very bottom. We can bring this down. Oh yes, of course. And then we can... The zombies off. I don't even know why I'm collecting so many zombies. But of course when... Uh, uh, don't anyone go down there? Okay. It's hard to get back up. Now, will they be able to throw me far enough? Some of them will. Okay, how far can we go? Can you throw me, guys? Try it. Ugh, not enough. Okay. I guess I gotta go back down here then. I nearly drowned myself in the process. It's frightening because you can hear, like... You can feel the rumble in the rumble pad, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna drown, and then you're fine. Ish. You can hear him going, oh, oh, oh. as if he's about to drown. Okay, so we've got to do our jungle gym ropes now again. I never found that other guy, but we found quite a lot of different zombies now. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with all these zombies, so... Ah! Uh, I really have to be quite clever with this one. Let's go all the way up the rope. And swing it really hard. Go on, kid. Make it. Oh. Okay, we'll try again. In this game that I can't even see. I'm going to need to do something about that. I'm literally sat here in the dark and it's still really quite hard to see. I need to turn the camera up or something. Okay, get some momentum going. Better, right. Or 
we're going to get our other zombies and then we'll we'll wander around but I'm not really sure not really sure what I'm meant to be doing um. oh do you know what I'm being so stupid the zombies just needed to let me go up the ladder I only went up there to get the hat didn't I silly she love I understand why you call me that all the time. That's it. I'll go get you. In the lift. That wasn't my finest moment. But any of you tell me that you don't sometimes do stupid stuff in games. I'm not going to believe you. Everyone does it. Okay, up we go! Whee! Besides, I got to jump on cool, ju cool jungle ropes, so that was pretty good. Okay, was there anything this way? Oh, this looks new. That looks a bit hot. Yeah, let's try and run across it and see if we inevitably die. No? Okay, cool. Me and my zombies are going to run through here then. Oh, this is why I need so many of them. And let me guess, I have to have every zombie in the whole place before that all sh shunt out the way. Try and lift me actually, see if I can jump over there. No, not gonna work. So it's gonna be brute strength, it's gonna be sheer number of zombies so we need to try and work out the puzzles where okay so that's clearly going to be the way Can I open that? Interact with it? No. Yeah, that just lets me back to the zombies. Even with all of them pushing, we can't do that. So gonna have to go and see if we've missed anything but I'm thinking that once we've finished with it this is definitely gonna be the way I think there's still some zombies we haven't got yet in our giant zombie collection I would love to try and get all the zombies before the end of the episode, but I don't know whether I'll be able to, because we've only got another five minutes or so, I would say. So we'll see. We'll see what we can find. Oh, there's a zombie I threw. Cool. Dude. Can your zombie brethren help you? Um, why aren't you doing anything? I'm drag you to the lift. I don't know if I can help you though. I 
don't know what to do with that one. Let's go up the lift again. Okay, so this way... What did we have? We had the zombies in the crate, which we picked up. So that's all of them. And then this way we had the zombie that was kind of dead. I love how I'm just accepting that I've got this random zombie horde after me. I'm going to check things out in there. No! That was pretty useless. Okay. What I wanted was everyone to throw me. Like that. That's better. Okay, so at least they have the good sense to stay put. So I found just that random zombie there. There was nothing really else up here I could interact with. No, not at all. So then there was a pit of zombies. It must have been on the... I thought that was on the bottom floor, but the bottom floor seems to have changed. There's definitely nothing on the top floor. Let's check each individual floor again, make sure. Oh yes, it was. It was this floor that had the, had the pit with the zombies in. I think I'm going to need that. And I need to work that puzzle out because that is going to be the last bits of zombies I'm probably going to need to push that truck. Also, how to make that other zombie alive, if possible. So those are the two puzzles I need to figure out. So I'm going to try and figure this puzzle out, see if we can do it by the end of the episode. So, we had a lever, oops, the zombies throw us over, we can throw quite far, so we had a lever and we could pull it and make the zombies go down that way. We'll make the zombies go down that way. That was pretty much all we could do. There was nothing down here that we could interact with. We just have a blank wall here that I don't believe we can climb or jump up. No. Nope. Have a lever and we can climb back up here. That is it. But I noticed that if we could get them to... That track curves up here. So if I could get them to go over the track where it curves, that might be the rest of my zombie horde. Okay, right. Let's see if we can do that at all. Nice jump, kiddo. Right, so... I pull the lever that way. They'll start going. And I need to quickly pull the lever that way to get them to go up over there. Yes! Nearly did it. All the way down there, so we can get some goods. Okay, so now. To get it exact. Let them uh, roll back. 
We did a little bit too soon, I think. Oh, too, too late that time. Timing's important here, but I know what to do. Guys, I fell off the ledge. Help me back over. Oh, no, that wasn't helping. That was just being stupid. Come on. We need to get the rest of your brothers. Okay. Oh, yes. Nice timing. Okay. So now we have the giant zombie horde. So with that, I am going to end the episode. In fact, I might just run through a few doors, a couple of doors, so that it'll uh, reload. Because I might just finish this recording set here. But yes, we have our giant horde, zombie horde. And uh, we are going to hopefully now have enough bodies to move that truck out the way and continue on our way. I have no idea what we're in, because we're in some sort of weird land with zombies and submarines and weird water nymphs and goodness knows what so is it genetic experimentation is it just like some disease are we in like i don't know what we're in but it's pretty cool anyway so um anyway i'm gonna end the episode here and if you liked it then please leave me a like in the comment section and i keep saying that but really it's not quite in the comment section so i will correct myself just leave me a like <laughs> Um, and if you would like to follow the series then please subscribe to the channel um, I hope to see you next time but in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome